We want to be a believer. We want to read what it says, believe it, and act upon it and do it and allow it to do its job in our life. And as we do that, we're going to start becoming more and more like Christ. We're going to start getting that revelation and the revelation comes through us. That is us practicing it, applying it. So what I want to challenge everybody, what I want to ask everybody is to start practicing with little things. I'm not asking you to start going raising the dead today. Now, if you have an opportunity, go for it. That's good. Start with simple things. Start with something small, whatever you can, but start applying this principle. Choose to believe and stand on it. And believe before you see the end result. Believe before you see that blessing. And don't waver. Because the Bible says that a double-minded person will not receive anything from the Lord. So we have to be consistent. We have to, once we decide, and I think I explained really well today of, of how that works practically, right? So I want you, everybody, to pick something today. So I want to give you right now 10 seconds to pick something because we're going to start it today. I want to make it very practical. I don't want whatever I talked about just to go to waste. I want people to literally start seeing the results immediately in their life. And so this is going to be our homework assignment. So pick something that you're not happy with in your life and choose to believe how it's supposed to be. And stand on that without wavering until you see the blessing. And again, that does not mean that you can't ask other people to pray and help you and lay hands on you. That, uh, I want to make sure that nobody hears it that way. Is that very clear? I don't want people to all of a sudden like, well, I'm, I'm just going to be believing and I'm not going to let anybody pray for me. That is not what I'm saying. I encourage you to have people lay hands on you. It's really good. If you're standing on it and other people are just putting more life, it's like that tree when you keep watering and watering until you start seeing the result. So every time that we pray for somebody, it's the same thing in the physical realm as if we're adding water. It does not say that you don't believe anymore. So the only way that unbelief kicks in is if the devil gives you a thought and says it's not working, and then you agree with it that it's not working, and you stop pressing for it. That puts you into unbelief. Is that very clear? So if you have other people praying for you, you just continue to stay in agreement. Or even if you think like, okay, well, I don't have enough faith or I don't have enough this, that's fine. Have somebody else pray for you. But when they pray for you, just agree with the scripture. Forget about faith. Just agree with the scripture that when a believer lay hands on me, I'm going to recover. Just agree with that scripture. Don't worry about how much faith you have. Do you have enough of it? What could be working? What could be not working? Just agree that this scripture is true, and you're going to stand on it. And if you don't believe um, you know, like, that you can do it, let somebody else do it, but just be in agreement. And you, by you being in agreement that somebody else is doing it for you, that puts you in belief again. So you're believing for that situation. And that will help you become believing more than you were before. Yeah? So did everybody decide what they're going to stand on yeah. starting today? Okay, because I'm going to want to hear testimonies. So this testimony is going to go like this. What's the date today? 24. It's going to go like this. On May 24th, I decided to believe before I see it to receive this blessing, this end result that I'm looking for. And now I have it. That's going to be the testimony. Amen? All right. So let's have everybody stand up. And repeat after me. Father God, God, I thank you you that your word word is truth. truth. It never comes back void. void. I thank you. you. Jesus paid the price price. for for everything. For my health, for my my life, for my my soul, soul, everything I can imagine imagine is paid for. for. So right now, Father, Father, 
I'm choosing to be obedient to your word. I'm choosing to be obedient to your word. Jesus said, Jesus said believe, believe before you see, before you see and, I will be and I will be blessed. I'm choosing, I'm choosing to, believe to believe for whatever problem it is that you have. You don't have to say it. No, you don't have, yeah. I don't want you to reveal your problems to other people. Um, and so I thank you, Father, thank you, Father that I am going to stand, and I, gonna stand and, I will and I will be blessed. Be blessed. I, will I will see the result. See the result. And, I and I will not stop believing until I see the end result. Until I see the end result. And, I'm and I'm excited to get the result. To get the result. Because Jesus said, because Jesus said believe before you, see, before you see, and you will be blessed. You will be blessed. Therefore, Therefore, I am blessed. I am blessed. Amen.